when disaster strikes. Minimizing negative impacts to human, property, and business assets is critical for a fast recovery. In spite of the economic good times brought about by the pandemic, the last two years started off as a disaster and a true emergency. Few would have predicted the windfalls that auto dealers enjoyed almost universally, but the reality is it could easily have turned out to be a huge disaster. That's just one example. Individual auto dealers are also susceptible to local disasters and emergencies, each of which can be very disruptive and damaging to your enterprise. Weather-related storms can lead to flooding and wind destruction. Human resource issues through illness, death, or resignation can result in the loss of important key productive employees. The list of unfortunate events that can befall dealers is large. So what's a dealer to do to mitigate the effects of disasters? Recently, Brooke Samples, president of Profit Blueprints, shared her thoughts on how preparing for disasters before they happen can reduce or eliminate disruptions to dealership operations. The full 30-minute recording of this discussion is available to Dealers Edge members only. To access this workshop, as well as our full archive of webinar recordings, executive summaries, books, manuals, and special reports, please visit dealersedge.com slash free trial. So what kind of disruptive emergencies should dealers be prepared for? Pandemic, fire, flood, hurricanes and cyclones, freezes, suspicious packages, workplace violence, cyber threats and malware, critical equipment malfunctions, i.e. AC, heating, communications, DMS, etc. And the list goes on. Brooke noted that the impact from these disasters can be grouped into three categories. Human impact. Employees are every dealer's most important asset, and how they are treated when a disaster strikes can influence how quickly the dealership recovers. To this end, Brooke recommended that dealers include these items in their disaster recovery plans. An accurate employee list with names, phones, both text capable and non, addresses, etc., and store it so that it is readily accessible to all when quick communication is needed. Clearly identified evacuation routes and meeting places. Train employees on where to meet so that everyone is accounted for. Provide employees with a designated phone number so that they can get information should they have to evacuate or otherwise leave. Management requirement to reach out to each employee to keep them informed of developments. Assign duties to primary and backup personnel to ensure that critical systems are shut down and secured. Similarly, Key personnel should know the plans for keeping critical functions such as payroll working and for recovering their area of responsibility when the emergency passes. Property impact. How dealership property is managed during and after disasters can go a long way to ensuring a rapid recovery. Fortunately, many weather events such as hurricanes, blizzards, etc. come with some lead time, which can be used to position assets, tools, supplies, etc. to facilitate an effective recovery. Detailed diagrams of the dealership layout showing the location of fire extinguishers, defibrillators, and other medical devices, water and gas valves, electrical boxes, where paint and other hazardous materials are stored, etc. This is especially useful for the fire department and may be required by law. Brooke noted that checklists are useful for ensuring that preparations are performed efficiently. For example, if vehicles are to be moved, who is responsible for ensuring the completion of this task? Where are the vehicles moved to? Who is responsible for storing the keys? Who makes sure that the vehicles have sufficient fuel? Have tools, supplies, and equipment such as generators, etc. on hand or easily accessible to reduce the impact of retailers being closed or out of stock. Ensure that drains are clear, roof is in good repair, protective window coverings like hurricane shutters are accessible, etc. to reduce the level of damage. Lack of preparation could become an issue when submitting an insurance claim. Keep the area around the dealership clean and clear of debris, clutter, trees, etc. that can cause damage to vehicles and other property. She recommends having pictures and videos showing that the areas are clear prior to the event. She also recommends documenting any remediation, such as removing falling trees, etc. to bolster insurance claims. Other types of disasters come with little or no warning, which puts a premium on having plans in place. For example, how is data protected from cyber threats? What training is there to prevent, mitigate cyber threats? What measures are in place should data be compromised or damaged? What to do in the event of workplace violence? How are fires addressed? 
Business Impact When disaster strikes, replacing or repairing critical equipment readily comes to mind. But what about all the other tools and supplies that are needed to get the business up and running? Brooke recommends having a shopping list of items that will need to be prepositioned or quickly replaced. For example, paper forms, repair orders, etc. Should the DMS cease working? Simple things like an open for business sign can make a difference. Have a list of suppliers, vendors, etc. readily on hand. Maintain a sufficient line of credit to cover operations until the insurance kicks in. She went on to cover unforeseen problems in the disaster recovery process and where to begin when setting up emergency procedures. Remember, the full 30-minute streaming video workshop, its corresponding handouts, and executive summary are available to members in the Dealer's Edge archive 24 hours a day. You can sign up for a 30-day free trial and see all we have to offer at dealersedge.com slash free trial.